Rachel Gunn's Olympic breakdancing performance sparks debate. The internet is buzzing over the performance of 36-year-old Rachel Gunn, an Australian breakdancer and university lecturer at the Paris 2024 Olympics. While Japan's 25-year-old B-girl Ami claimed the gold medal in breaking, it was Gunn's performance that truly captured the attention of audiences around the world, but not for the reasons she might have hoped. Gunn, also known as B-girl Ray Gunn, entered the competition with high hopes but left empty-handed after losing all three of her round-robin battles with scores of 18-0, 18-0, and 18-0. Despite her best efforts, Gunn later admitted that her unconventional style did not align with the expectations of the Olympic event. What makes Gunn's story particularly unique is her background. She holds a PhD in cultural studies, with a thesis titled Deterritorializing Gender in Sydney's Breakdancing Scene, a B-girl's experience of b-boying, which examines the intersection of gender and Sydney's breakdancing culture. However, her academic expertise did little to shield her from the sharp criticism that followed her Olympic debut. Social media quickly lit up with reactions to Gunn's performance, many of them scathing. Comments ranged from bewilderment to outright mockery, with one user saying, it was so cringe and hard to watch. When she pointed at the Australian logo on her jersey and started kangaroo hopping, that was just something. Another commenter joked, Australia did its best to sabotage the sport right out of the gates. I refuse to believe that wasn't some sort of act of protest. Breaking, the official term for what is more commonly known as breakdancing, made its Olympic debut in Paris. Originally born at block parties in 1970s New York, breaking involves intricate footwork and floor movements performed to the beat of DJ tracks. Despite its rich cultural history and significance, the sport's Olympic debut left some viewers confused and underwhelmed. While Gunn's Olympic experience may not have gone as she envisioned, it certainly left an impression and sparked a broader conversation about what it means to pursue a dream, even when the results are unexpected.